Hello and good afternoon. Uh, my name is Kasmit Zan bin Kahale. So today I would like to talk about drilling process. So for the first slide, how to reduce energy consumption for the drilling, drilling process. First is the design and the planning. Optimize the placement of the wells by doing detailed ge geological research to find the best sites for drilling and reduce the number of wells needed. Next, well bore design. To shorten drilling operations and simplify them, optimize well bore trajectories. Then, pre drilling surveys to better under understand the subsurface and avoid needless drilling. Use cutting edge imaging technology and geophysical surveys. <laughs> Okay, next, uh, how to reuse, reuse uh, renewable energy for drilling process? First is by storing energy. Install energy storage systems such as lithium ion batteries to store surplus energy produced by re renewable sources and use it when there is a shortage of renewable energy or high demand for electricity. Then implement uh, complex air energy storage. See, CAES system which hold complex air during periods of peak renewable energy generation and release it to power turbines at other times. Next is the implement waste reduction strategies. First, by planning the waste management. Create a waste management strategy, make a thorough plan outlining waste reduction objective, waste regulation pro procedures, recycling programs and appropriate disposal techniques. Next, re regulation adherence make sure drilling operations are conducted in accordance with a local law and reg regulation regarding waste disposal. Second is by resource and material management. That is by inventory control, use effective inventory management techniques to cut back on extra supplies and lessen waste production. Next is by implement green chemistry. Chemical choice is green drilling fluid should be used. Select drilling fluid that are biological, non-toxic, and a minimal environmental impact to reduce the release of hazardous compounds. Second is reduce the use of chemicals by reduce the amount of chemical use in drilling operation while still retaining the desired performance by optimizing chemical dosing. Selective use of additive additive determine whether addition are necessary, use them only when necessary to minimize chemical usage. Next is by use sensible materials. Materials for casting and pipes and cont containment of fluids. Next slide is about a focus on the product design. First, design for lifespan and sturdiness. Create drilling tools and parts that are long lasting to cut down on waste creation and the need of frequent replacement. To ensure a long equipment lifespan, choose materials and coating that are survive the demanding drilling conditions. Next is invest the employee training first by identify training needs and second is by develop a training plan. Next is life cycle assessment. By doing this, uh, we can define the goal and scope and eventually analysis. Or the last slide is recyclability, material selection, and design for the, for the assembly. Choose materials that are accessible for a for a for have a high potential for recycling. For example, selecting casting pipes, containers made from recyclable materials and composite materials. Okay, um, that's all from me. Uh, thank you.